Did you know that a couple of those RAC men were executed? Did you hear that story? That they were executed? Afterwards. Executed by who? By a volunteer by the name of Morris Mead. I heard of Morris Mead, all right, and the only thing I heard about Morris Mead was that he was tricked to execute himself because he was supposed to be absolutely ruthless. Yes. And um, that's what I heard about. He actually, Morris Mead actually performed, I think, the last shooting since John Keane. Last shooting. Who were the two men who escaped uh, and where did they go? And who escaped were District, District Inspector Adam Sanderson. He was in charge of the convoy. And the driver of the first lorry, John Cox. Now, Cox and Sanson uh, were both in civilian clothes. So when they were thrown out of the lorry, the IRA hesitated. They weren't too sure. You see, the British had a habit of taking hostages mm. on convoys. So they weren't, the IRA weren't certain for a moment or two uh, as to whether they were civilians or whether they were police. And by the time they realised that they were part of the convoy, they had made some distance and they, before they really opened fire on them. And they managed to escape and they went up over the, the hill there, so I think they call it Mount Sign, but I'm not, I'm not certain of that now. I'm open to you were quite critical of Sanson, weren't you? Essentially, he was the man in charge, you know, and he did leave. Uh, he's meant to the fate. Now, whatever you say about Cox, he was just another uh, policeman. Uh, Sanson, after all, was the, uh, the commanding officer. And they were looked after by the O'Briens, who well, had, no say, <laughs> had no option. I wouldn't say they were looked after. <laughs> Essentially, what happened was Paddy O'Brien was out in the fields, I think, spreading dung. And they came on him and they forced him to. to, 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 to uh, Empty the cart and take them to to drum key or to take them to Palace Green, uh, covered in hay. Now, as I say, in fairness to Paddy O'Brien, what else? Could yeah, he could do? he do? Yeah. There has been various views on that. Uh, they weren't protected. They demanded a horse and trap to go to Palace Green. He he went into a local farmer. I won't state names, though, because there was. Uh, you know the situation. I do. Do you know the names though? Yeah, I do, yeah. But you can't tell me. Well, it wouldn't be fair. Fair enough. It wouldn't be fair, no. Because, you see, you had the name. One of the women that was taken hostage, she was a supporter of the old volunteers. And she kind of said anybody that assisted them were kind of collaborators. They weren't collaborators. They were just caught in a humane situation. Yes. A humane situation. Oh, yeah, you asked me about... How did he get away? He got a horse and trap from a man. His name was O'Brien. But don't leave it. Right. O'Brien. He got a horse and trap from him. And he said to O'Brien, he was hysterical. He was very excited. And he said, all my men are lost. And he went over to Palace Green to raise their alarm. And they came on in, I think, later. And the bodies were here and the clergy were here. And they were very excited. Officer in charge actually escaped. His name was Cox. He returned to Ireland in 1970 and came here to Drumkeen. To do what? To just reminisce. Really? Yeah. Came How back. do you know that? I met the old people told me, one or two told me. Wouldn't turn back because they were, they were confused. It was also said they were dead drink taken, they were drunk. 